based upon it uh, electrical properties so based upon electrical properties solids are classified into three types what are those three types one is conductor next one is insulators and next one is semiconductors so these are the three types of uh, three different uh, types of solids that are classified based upon uh, conductivity now let us come to conductor conductors means these are the solids whose electrical current uh, conduction will be more that is they can easily conduct current through them the examples for conductors are gold silver copper aluminum okay now coming to the properties of uh, conductors these conductors have high electrical conductivity and thermal conductivity okay electrical conductivity means it is related to flow of current flow of current high electrical conductivity means it allows more current to pass through that or current will flow very easily through this conductors next thermal conductivity means it is related to flow of heat what do you mean by a solid having more thermal conductivity means it gets heated up very quickly now for this conductors its electrical conductivity as well as thermal conductivity will be more next in the case, uh, for conductors the temperature coefficient of resistance will be positive what do you mean by positive temperature coefficient of resistance it means see we know that resistance changes with temperature the formula that shows the variation of resistance with temperature is rt is equal to r not into 1 plus alpha delta t where delta t is the change in uh, temperature r not is the resistance at uh, 0 degrees kel uh, kel uh, kelvin rt is the temperature at t, t kelvin okay now alpha is called as coefficient temperature coefficient of resistance no positive temperature coefficient of resistance means this alpha is positive no what do you mean by alpha is positive if i if i substitute a positive value here then i can write like this that is rt is directly proportional to delta t what does it mean if the change in temperature increases the value of resistance will increase so based upon this point what we can say we can say that conductors at high temperature in the case of conductors at high temperature the value of resistance will be more okay and at low temperatures the value of uh, resistance will be less means conductors conduct easily at low temperatures and uh, conduction will be less at high temperatures so that is the specialty of uh, positive temperature coefficient of resistance for conductors the temperature coefficient of resistance is positive now coming to insulator what are insulators these are the uh, solids which does not allow current to pass through them okay so such solids are called as insulators examples are glass wood mica the other name for uh, insulator that we generally use use is dielectric generally we'll use this uh, term in capacitor a dielectric placed between uh, parallel plate capacitors the dielectric is nothing but an insulator okay so the other name for a uh, insulator is dielectric this dielectric does not allow current to pass through it now coming to properties of insulator they have neg negative temperature coefficient of resistance what do you mean by negative temperature coefficient of resistance it means that alpha is negative now if we substitute this uh, negative value here then we can write that uh, rt proportional uh, rt is inversely proportional to change in temperature why because if i substitute alpha as a negative value here then i'll get this equation will become like this rt is equal to r not into 1 minus some uh, negative value that is uh, alpha delta t from this we can conclude that it is inversely proportional now what does it mean as temperature increases that is uh, temperature increases the value of rt will decrease similarly if temperature difference uh, decreases the value of rt will increase this is the specialty of uh, insulators slight uh, quite different from that of uh, conductors where it is directly proportional in the case of conductors here it is inversely proportional this is the case of uh, insulator next semiconductors what are semiconductors these are the solids whose electrical properties lies between conductors and insulators what do you mean by electrical properties lying between uh, conductors and insulators means 
their conductivity will be in between conductors and insulators means their conductivity will, will not be too good similar to that of conductors or too bad similar to that of insulators so such solids will call it as uh, semiconductors their uh, electrical uh, semiconductors are the uh, solids whose electrical properties lies between conductors and insulators the example for uh, semiconductors are germanium and silicon actually we have many semiconductors many semiconductors but generally we will use this uh, germanium and silicon now coming to the properties of semiconductors their resistivity is see their resistivity is higher than conductors lower than insulators see uh, lower than insulators and it has negative temperature coefficient of uh, resistance similar to that of uh, insulators insulators also has negative temperature coefficient of resistance next electrical conductivity can be increased by adding impurities now see what did i say semiconductor uh, the electrical conductivity of semiconductor lies between conductors and insulators that is conductivity will be between these two now for this semiconductor if i want to increase its conductivity what i have to do is to that some to that semiconductor i have to add some impurities okay this process of adding impurities is called as doping that means the process of adding impurities to a semiconductor is called as doping and the impurity that we add is called as doping so how will you increase the conductivity of a semiconductor by a process called as doping next now the property of the specialty of the semiconductor is at low temperature they behave like as a, they behave like insulators and at high temperature they behave as conductors means semiconductors at a zero kelvin that is at a low temperature it behaves as insulator okay insulator means its resistance will be very high now if i keep on increasing the temperature what will happen slowly its conductivity will increase and at certain uh, temperature this semiconductor will act like a conductor that is its resistance value will decrease 